Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Wednesday morning trading room. Halloween, of course. All Hallows Eve. A little extortioner showing up later this evening, begging for candy. Uh, yesterday continued to be just a really nasty chop fest. I did get a few dollars back in the afternoon, but here's the, the daily chart just for a quick look. And uh, you can see the, the day finished on a bullish note, but really it wasn't that way. The, it, it, it finished at the top end of the trading range just what it did. And now you can see this morning where we're opening relative to where we closed, we got a rather substantial downside gap. While we're looking at this, let's just see where the trend line falls. All right, so it looks like 7,000, just kind of eyeballing this a little bit, uh, will be where the market may intersect the trend line. really, really strong move lower the last few weeks. And it's got more than a few traders scratching their heads wondering what's going on. Is it time to start shorting or at the very least, they're going to start covering their long positions or bringing their stops in very, very tight. All right, for those of you who like your first in sync eagle signal, uh, it tripped right here. You got actually a second push opportunity to try and get back on board if you haven't done so already. I may hold off here just a little bit, although today the volatility not nearly uh, what it was the last two days was almost, almost too much. <laughs> All right, they're trickling a little bit higher here. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can do that in sync signal business here on the Raptor as well. And I suppose on the Falcon uh, for that matter, I'm not sure I would do it on the Hawk. Well, if you're scalping, I suppose you can do it on the Hawk just fine. Oh, way to go, Mark. Mark crushing it here this morning. Pre-market picking up a couple of trades. I have a hard enough time <laughs> making the market open. He says a couple late filter entries pre-market. Oh, yeah, probably through here somewhere. Got a couple of signals. This one looking especially... Juicy as the trend line relatively flat. Actually, that one looking pretty darn good, too. I would probably trade all three of these as one. You know, I wouldn't treat them as independent signals. And here's another. This one had tremendous follow through. The, the late filter entry for you, those of you trading the Falcon, your filter goes out of sync, comes back into sync. The trend line never changes color. That's very important. And then, of course, you come back and you fire a signal. Very, very strong signal. All right. I don't know if I want to try anything just yet, but I am maybe, well, I'm afraid to say it, given what happened yesterday. Maybe a little bit more bullish. We're back here into the hard edge now on the Eagle and the Raptor. That was a decent little, little bounce off of the hard edge. Let's see if we get another. Um, we're kind of flip-flopping here a little bit. As 
as they start looking for some sort of direction Okay, back into the hard edge. This signal right here, actually a number three signal, even though it didn't print as such, it didn't print as a number three because the bands were a little bit twisted here. I'll throw an order in there to see if they, no, they're not going to. Whenever we encounter the hard edge, of course, we anticipate the market to do something. There needs to be a reaction from the hard edge. Okay, here we're getting a number two signal, which, you know, if you believe the market is going to be bullish, this would actually be a with trend signal. Let's see if they give me a second push on that. I may, oh, no, they're going to run away on me. Maybe not. So we're bouncing off of the low of the morning right here. I'm thinking the market is going to be bullish here today. So I'm going to try a buy. And why do I think it's going to be bullish today? Uh, just going back here to the daily. Uh, the market after a very, very bearish day the, um, on Tuesday, or pardon me, on Monday, uh, Tuesday actually closed higher. Now, we had some buying through the overnight, obviously, to give us that opening gap. And when there's trend lines nearby, markets do have a tendency to try to, to test those trend lines. So that worked out okay. Got got paid anyway. It's nice after yesterday. I, I admit I was borderline over trading yesterday chasing the market around a little bit and uh well they they got me for it So we're hovering near the highs of the morning so far, not really making any progress. This dotted green line showing me the high of opening range. And are we going to press higher now? I would probably consider this signal a hard edge bounce as well. Whenever the market gets within a couple of ticks of the hard edge, even it did not print as a number three signal because it did not actually engage the hard edge of the cloud.
here now with the hard edge bounce. This, by the way, these are valid signals. So we're, we've got a hard edge bounce here on the Eagle and the Raptor. Uh, given the hesitation though, and given the proximity of that swing high, what I mean is, here's the signal. I don't have all that much room there to work with my trade, right? It's not like this signal down here where, or even this one right here, or perhaps even better, this one right here. You can see before we encounter the high, we got a lot of room in here off of this hard edge bounce. If for whatever reason the signal starts to fail, I can do something with my stops. This, oh, <laughs> okay, make a liar out of me. But uh, this trade, even though it did work out, I was gonna suggest using a second push opportunity to get into the trade. So you look for that reactionary bar and it was either this one or this one. I'll have to look at the Raptor for more detail. But you want to see that reaction. You want to make sure that the market has enough in it to keep going. And it seems as though I was a little, little extra cautious there unnecessarily. Let's take a look here at the Raptor. We have the same thing. We encountered the hard edge. Here's the signal. There's actually your second push right here. You come back with a, a discretionary signal, one of your follow-up signals. And now a little bit sideways again. That tends to happen. We'll see if maybe we get another hard edge bounce. I got a couple late filter entry signals here on the Falcon. Again, trend line very, very nice and flat. So I would remain bullish, I think. Um, got a pair of number two signals. So a pullback here to the hard edge, not out of the question. like I could afford to be a little bit more aggressive here this morning. A little gun shy still from yesterday. Yesterday, I tried to be a little bit more aggressive with the market. They ate my lunch.
it does seem as though we are slowing maybe a little bit. Where was the open right here? So we had the nice rally out of the open. Kind of drifted sideways for a little bit. Have another rally. And uh, now we're starting to slow again. Let's see if we get another buy signal. There's another buy signal. Are you going to give me a second push on that one? All right, there it is. This is starting to get borderline. Do I call that a number three signal or don't I? Technically, again, it's not a number three signal. Given the trend, I would consider a discretionary signal as an excuse to get long. Um, as I mentioned, though, given the proximity to this recent little swing, and visually, it appears as though the market may be slowing. That's one nice thing about day trading is you can actually watch prices unfolding. Um, made me employ the second push to before I took the signal. And you can see in this case, it worked very well. Kept me, kept me on the right side of the market so far. Now we're definitely back into the hard edge. Once again, this is where we normally expect some sort of reaction from the marketplace. Hey, way to go, Mark. Mark bagged three trades. He says he's up 12.75 today. Well done. <laughs> Good job. Okay, here we're getting a little bit of a reaction now off of the hard edge. Here's the eagle with the red bar by. Just out of curiosity, let's see where that trend line falls. Aha. Uh -huh. So again, a trend line, good excuse for using a second push signal. The eagle tends to give you a second push on almost every signal. Uh, it's a little bit rich, but there it is all the same. And all I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure I enter on the other side of the trend line. Oh, I think I got slipped a couple of ticks on that. Am I 
they're going to have to start using stop limit orders. Stop limit order. You can limit your slippage by that amount right there. No, it's not going to work. They're trying to stay bullish, but you see we're starting to develop a rule of three type signal. So I really not holding out a whole lot of hope for this trade right now. Uh, if I do get tagged um, here, it does open up the possibility that the market will try to head lower at this point. Oh, look at how they're just holding that line. I may give them another. I was going to say I may give them another tick, but it doesn't matter. All right, so they didn't want to go higher. There's the potential that this is a rule of three. So now we got a chance to short it. I don't normally reverse on my trades. Normally, if I have a losing trade, all right, whatever. I've had a losing trade. I leave it at that. But I may try the reverse here if, in fact, they are going to head lower. Don't tell me they tagged me by a tick or two only to reverse now. All right, here we go. And I may try to stretch this one out a little bit. Get ready with the bar high low strategy. I do tend to be a little bit more aggressive on my stops with the eagle when and if the trade starts moving in my direction. Oh, look at that. They did. They tagged me by a couple of ticks, and now they're going to try to rally out of this rather extended uh, bear flag. Oh, you stinkers. Uh, oh, I see. Mark says he's actually started using uh, stop limit orders. Um, back in September. And it's uh, reduced the slippage for him. He also says the uh, Ninja 8 has got the market if touched order. Oh, you're using limit orders. I see, not stop limit. Uh, yeah, well, I don't, I don't think. No, Ninja Seven doesn't have market if touched. Uh, market if touched is very similar. Well, it is a stop order, a different name really for a stop order. You get the market price if your. Um, price gets touched. 
Uh, unfortunately, here the market now backing up, tagging me out. That's why I don't normally reverse on trades. Because the market adds a little insult to injury. I think what bugs me most about this trade is that um, it did head higher as anticipated, but of course, I was unable to ride out the swing. All right. If your stops are big enough, you can hold on for almost any trade. I uh, wonder now if this is going to be like a bit of a double top or if the market's going to start going sideways on us. Right. Well, um, again, very nice hard edge bounce. Oh, going to get another late filter entry signal here on the Falcon. This trend line a little bit steeper, but you can see the filter out of sync, back into sync. Uh, they're even holding up there for a little bit. So you may have a, a second chance to get on board. filter entry signals here. Again, I would treat that as one signal, not two separate signals. today or this week.
It's not like the market's never tagged me out or even handed me a few bad days in a row, but usually you at least pick up a few trades. There we go. We got the break even. Oh, get going. Don't stop now. <laughs> oh, you guys. Wow. Now watch them go up. Hit my would have been my profit target. All right, let's put that away. Got a bit of a sideways drift going on. Okay. Let's see what the, uh, the band, not all that wide yet. Got counter, definitely getting a little bit bearish. as we flash a number two signal. Thought we may have had an opportunity brewing there, but not yet. All right, back into the hard edge.
Ooh. Quick move down to the second hard edge. And that's kind of opening up uh, again the possibility that maybe uh, we've got a short term top in here now. We've seen this now the third leg higher, the third move higher for the Eagle. Typically, the Eagle will only put in about three legs before reversing. Right, we're back in the hard edge. I'm just kind of waiting to see here whether we get another number three signal to buy. And that could be it right there. Uh, they slipped me a tick again, but see if I can get it back get up there oh <laughs> so uh, this uh, was visually a number three signal it obviously did not print as a number three signal but visually, you can see it encountered the hard edge. It did not print as a number three signal because the clouds were out of sync. But it is still a number three signal in that it's a continuation signal. So we obviously have a bit of an uptrend here. The market comes back into the hard edge. So I'm looking for that reactionary signal, which was this one right here. So that's what I was trying to get on board with, hoping the market was at least going to get to my high prop probability profit objective came up a couple of ticks short and that's making me wonder all the more whether or not a top is in you see here on the eagle now we have a rule of three one two three counter trend signals a test of the extreme um i would almost always recommend using a second push on a rule of three signal because it is counter trend you can always use the rule of three signal as a cue that maybe the trend is ending and then wait for the with trend signal to develop. And uh, the market now in a bit of a bind. Okay, so 
I'll leave that rule of three signal in there, but it does look as though maybe the trend is recovering at this point, maybe. I don't know the way the market's treated me the last few days. I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> yeah, Paul says they're after you. Yeah, somebody's having a bad start to their day today. All right, let's try to stretch this one out. My friend who was, uh, yeah, Mark says someone's starting their Halloween early. My friend who was a fireman always used to say, uh, because he was also one of the first responders. If you make it through your first cup of coffee, you're probably okay for the day. So most heart attacks occur first thing in the morning. But that was an ambulance and a police car. So yeah, something's going on. Come on. So the rule of three signal, uh, the eagle counter trend signal, the, the key components, uh, you have to have a trend. Then you start producing counter trend signals. So we have a bullish band, but we're producing sell signals. And then of course you have to have a retest of the extreme. In this case, the extreme is the high and a failure. So the evidence that the market may not want to be heading higher any longer. another retest of the high. The longer we go sideways here, the more neutral the market will become, the more it will become like a 50-50 proposition. toward a breakout. Ah, oh, look at that. Just craziness today. All right, let's put that away. Okay, there's another example of things you should not do. <laughs> Crazy today.
Well, it does look as though we've hit a little bit of a sideways skid. And when the market starts to track sideways, your best course of action is to try to uh, allow the market to break out and then retest and see whether or not they can stay out. So we've got the breakout now. Uh, that was a pretty quick little retest there. I would hope for a little bit more. Okay, come on, give me that retest. All right, here we go. They're coming back down. They're going to try to retest this breakout zone. And if they recover, then that should offer us a buying opportunity. And if they don't, well, we have a pretty good idea the market will probably go the other way. certainly gotten quiet though relative to what it, it had been doing
I don't, well, obviously we're moving a little bit higher, but I would still like to see a little bit more of a, a retest there. No, they're not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, now they're going. Still waiting for that bigger retest. I still think it's got to, uh, <laughs> the market's got to retest the breakout. Sometimes it will take a while. You know, the tendency is sometimes to try to get on there a little bit too early and only to watch the market pull back against you. Oh, <laughs> not much going on now. All right, here we go. So, after a little bit of waiting, I would be looking for the market to possibly get back somewhere here around 7,000.
What was our band at? Actually, our band was probably wide enough that a short might have been feasible. Wow. <laughs> what happened? Did everybody leave already? Okay, we're back into the hard edge. It's like we're trading in slow motion. Okay, here now with a with trend signal. This is a little bit premature. It's not quite where I would expect the reaction to come. Let's see. Wow, just what's going on with the follow through? <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Antonio. Antonio says, ask, ask Trump to tweet something. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, start bringing my stops up here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a crazy kind of day. All right, well, the hard edge bounce um, 
working out. Um, actually, a, a pretty favorable trade the way it's set up. We had a reasonable amount of room here before the retest. The challenge is always, is the market going to take out that last swing high or is it going to turn? Um, the signal producing down here, so a reasonable amount of room giving me an opportunity to do something with my stops. when and if the market would reverse. Delete that line there. And now we are going sideways again. Okay, well, this could be a little bit of a double top. And what's our band at? Mm, let's see, I might try here the counter trend if I get a decent second push. I would actually like to see this bar turn bullish. No, it's gonna run away on me now, you son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that double top the market you know going sideways and not really following through opens up the opportunity of a counter trend and if we're establishing a trading range now we're somewhere back near the bottom end of the trading range. So if we're going to short it, we want to try to sell it near the top end. We want to see those counter trend signals.
right. Well, here now another rule of three signal on the eagle. I got burned on the last one, but let's see whether they're ready to reverse this time. So the, even though I've only had two counter trend signals here, uh, we still have all the elements of a rule of three. Namely, we have the trend. We've actually had a couple retests um, of the high. Even though this move did go higher, it did not continue higher. So it's still considered a retest. And then of course, from here, we come and we get this other retest. A lot of you will recognize this as a head and shoulders type formation. Um, it's, we call it a rule of three because of the counter trend signals that are producing. So we have, in this case, only two counter trend signals, but we have all the elements of a rule of three, namely the trend, the retest, And we are just over an hour into the session. So uh, very often this is when we will see a market try to make a reverse. All right, well, they're thinking about it. Here we go, almost down to the break even. And I think I'm gonna go with my bar high low strategy now, essentially taking the trade to break even. Oh, don't tag me yet.
Well, that's kind of been the theme here today. All right, so we're getting a little bit more follow through now. Of course, after they tag me out of break even, why not? All right, getting some decent follow through now to the short side. I think that does open up the possibility of a reversal. So I'm just gonna take a look at hopping on board on the next signal. All right, there it is. Oh, you're going to run away on me again. Doc, got it. This was the high of opening range right here. So what I wanted to try to do is take advantage of one of these follow-up signals. Given that the trend now seems to have changed and the market is heading lower, And we would have made the profit target on that one. So very often the, the most difficult part of trading is trying to determine the trend. And of course, trying to avoid that nasty sideways uh, trading that can get you stuck.
and it looks like we're getting a little bit of a bounce back. So we're back near the 7,000 region. This is where the market broke higher before. Right, this was our little sideways range. Market made the big breakout and you're thinking, oh no, you don't get another chance. Well, there we go. We're back here looking now for the market to possibly recover. And if it doesn't recover, it should head lower. Actually, that's looking like a possible short right there. Again, not one of our higher probability signals. I would much prefer the market to move back here to the hard edge. But if you wanted to try to play the trend and say, hey, the trend is down, let's see if we can't take the market down here to the bottom end of this trading range that the market got stuck in before. And once again, I think I'm going to jam my stops in here, not give them too much room on this. they didn't take me at break even that time they did come up short of the profit target but we may get a little bit of a bigger pullback off that like I said a move back to the hard edge either here on the eagle or the raptor would be a good excuse to try to short it again chipping away at it. Let's see if they give us one more little pullback here and then we'll we'll call it a day. So what I'm looking for is a little bit of a pullback higher. There we go. Okay, we got the market in a bit of a bind now. So we've obviously got uh, a bit of a downtrend and now we've got a little bit of a push to the upside as well. So you see the market pushed up higher here, failed, came down, could not go lower. Tried to go higher again, failed. Now it's either gonna go higher or lower from here. So I'm gonna try to employ my OCO type order and I'll get my stops in play all right let's see if we get some follow-through the band wasn't overly broad but okay got the break even that's a bonus
got the hard edge, that's typically the, uh, the target for your counter trend trades. And if I can write out, oh, no, of course I can't write out the swing. Why would it let me write out the swing? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, trading is a great business. <laughs> All right, gang. Uh, I've got an appointment at the top of the hour, so we're just going to uh, close up shop here a few minutes early, and I will talk to you tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye for now.